One of the amazing things that your TI-84 calculator can do is to process data uh, in a list uh, as a list. That is, it's able to manipulate and apply the same operation across individual datum inside the entire data set. Uh, here is an illustration of what I want to uh, talk about here. Uh, suppose we have this data set here, and it's a set of samples here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It can be all jumbled up, but let's just, first of all, tell our calculator that we want to analyze this set of data. So we enter one, two, three, and for that matter, it could be any other numbers. Uh, doesn't have to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have this set of data, right? And the question here wants us to find uh, x minus 3.5, that is every single piece of data minus 3.5. If we didn't know better, we would have uh, tried 1 minus 3.5 and all that. So that's a lot of work after we have entered the data still, right? So what we can do is we can use the calculator and say, uh, calculator, I want uh, you know every single piece of data in L1 minus 3.5. So your calculator, this would have been a weird description if your calculator didn't know better. But it's able to understand that this is a list, this is a number. When you have this kind of combination, your calculator will take out each data inside L1 and minus each data by 3.5. So we get a list like this. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this becomes, we can then record down um, for x minus 3.5. That is going to give us uh, another list, right? Minus 2.5, uh, minus 1.5, minus 0 0.5. And we can scroll to the right. Okay, so to see the rest of the, of the answers. So that's 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5. As it should be. As it should be. So what about x squared? That is square every single uh, item in the list, well that would have uh, given us another list, so we would just tell calculator L1 squared. Neat, right? Because that's exactly what we want and uh, your calculator implicitly understands what we want and gives us the numbers right away. You can cube it, you can to the, raise it to the power of 4 and it's still fine. But let's try something more interesting. We want to square, okay, uh, the difference of uh, from 3.5 for every piece of data. You get the idea that this looks a bit like halfway through calculation of variance, and that's the idea. So suppose we want to do this, what happens? This should give us another new list. So what we want is to say we want L1 minus of uh, 3.5, yes? This is a list, so we can square the list, right? And your calculator does understand this. And we have uh, 6.25, 2.25, uh, 0.25. And if it gets a little bit hard to scroll around, what we can always say this. Let's go up, go up and copy and paste the expression again. I'm sorry, I just mean paste it. Uh, because the list can be operated as if it's a list and a number, it can be stored. So we click on store and we sort of store it into another list, say L2. Okay, so let's do that. And your calculator returns this, right? But if we look at the L2 space uh, by stat edit, you see that L2 gets recorded with um, the calculated result. So now we can copy uh, at our leisure. Okay, so this is it. So if you're interested in storing the data, you can always put it into, into the list and look at it using the stat editor. Yeah, good. So we have this, and uh, we can do a lot more interesting things. For example, we want to find the mean of the set of data here. Okay, so we have a list, and we want to find x bar. What is x bar? X bar is basically uh, one over n sum of all the x i. Right. I I'm just ignoring the index i equals to one to n. So what we can do is this: we can use list operations. Um, let's go to shift. Uh, or rather second stat to get the list. Uh, let's go to math here, where we can then invoke mean, right? We want to find the mean of which list? Well, we enter L1, and that's it. So that gives us 
you can of course use one variable stats to find out as well but this is uh, nice because we can embed this result so here's what I, what I mean uh, we want to find SSXX so let's recall what is SSXX SSXX is actually the sum of all the data minus of its own mean right okay and then squared okay so first of all first of all xi minus x bar that's a list squaring is another list and then summing the list okay so we can find out the mean by having this all we want is to say all we want is to say we want to sum okay so let's go to math we perform a summation on the list okay sum of the square of all these things here so we want to square we want to put another bracket square of the, all the xi so and whenever you see xi you want to just invoke the list okay minus of the mean of the list so that's exactly where we can copy from upstairs right so let's just uh, do the math and then select mean of l1 so you see you can do this here uh, whereas you you cannot be invoking one variable stats in the middle of an expression right so let's close the bracket and square it and then finally closing the sum total of the function this looks big and uh, humongous but it's actually quite easy because we are just retyping the formula directly in and then operating on xi uh, in place of xi we have l1 right so our SSXX will give us uh, 17.5. Now, if you want to find the sample variance, what is sample variance? That is basically 1 over n minus 1 of the above, which is SSXX. So what you need to do is then is just, uh, we have 6 pieces of data, right? So 6 minus 1 of 17.5. And that is going to be, so let's divide this by uh, 5. 3.5 and therefore sample standard deviation is going to be square root of the sample variance let's find the square root of uh, we're going beyond what the question wants but uh, that's okay so uh, trying to verify something here to get 1.8708 good so now let's perform a one variable stats quickly because we can just easily click on calc one variable uh, saying that the data is in L1 and we don't have any frequency and calculate. Let's verify. First of all, X bar is indeed 3.5 and our sample standard deviation is indeed 1.8708. You can see that. Okay, so that illustrates um, basically the power of manipulating lists within calculator, something which is uh, going to expand our ability to handle data sets.